ethanol plants turn corn into fuel. But not all of the corn that goes in comes out as ethanol. Many people don't realize that when you put corn grain or other grains into these ethanol plants, there's actually about a third of that material comes out as feed, and that's what we refer to as distiller's grains plus solubles. Wet distiller's grains, the leftovers from ethanol production, are a mixture of water, protein, and fat. It's inexpensive, and cattle love it. And what's unique about these, this, these wet distiller's grains is not only can producers utilize them because they're cheaper than grain, but they also lead to an improvement in performance. In fact, quite dramatic. There's a dramatic increase in gain and a, and, a, and a dramatic improvement in how many pounds of feed it takes to put on a pound of gain. UNL scientist Galen Erickson explores ways to increase beef production using distiller's grains. His work is funded by a grant from the Nebraska Center for Energy Sciences Research. Historically, the focus was how can these byproducts work as a protein source? How can we feed them at, say, 15 to 20 percent of the diet? Because of the, the dramatic increase in supply, we've expected that these would be very economical for our, for our cattle producers. So our focus has switched completely to not how well does 15 percent work, but how can we use the maximum amount possible in cattle diets, which is more like 50 percent or more. Now there are some limitations, but that's part of what this project's trying to accomplish is how can we overcome those limitations. Nebraska is positioned to benefit from Erickson's research. You know, there's a lot of other states that have ethanol and grain, and there's a lot of other states that have cattle, but Nebraska is the only state that has all three. And I think our goal is to, is to figure out ways we can capitalize on, those, on that advantage. It's an advantage that fuels a brighter future for Nebraska and ultimately the world.